Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Larry Bobka. He's a legendary club builder, short game guru, and uh, now a Second Swing master fitter. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some putters, specifically the decision that a lot of golfers face between choosing a mallet and a blade putter. Uh, really nobody better than Larry to uh, give us some information on these. Uh, Larry, thanks for joining us today. No problem. So let's get started here. Basically, I mean, a lot of golfers have an idea of uh, what a mallet is, what a blade is, but how would you explain uh, the differences between each one? Well, I guess we'll probably have to do a little bit of a history lesson. Yeah. There's a lot of things have changed through the years. Putters have evolved through the yeah. years. And the evolution of putters, you know, really if you take a look at, we talk about blade, I mean, this is the classic, this is a design by Cleveland that was made in the 80s, but if you go back to the 20s and 30s, everything was kind of an end-shafted blade, right. um, not very high moment of inertia, but that was kind of the design. And then all of a sudden, it, things started to change. You know, Karsten in 1966 comes out with this great answer style putter, okay? George Archer was the first player who won with an answer in 1969, and all of a sudden, you know, arguably the most, probably the most copied design yeah. of putters going. This is considered a blade now. I mean, if you look at these two putters, they look very different. Mm -hmm. We call this a blade and we call this a blade right. now. So putter, putter design has evolved. The moment of inertia is going up, meaning the resistance of twist when you hit it a little bit off center. And then now we start talking about some other designs. We start talking about mallets. Uh, here we kind of have a, a ping, what I would call a mid mallet, which has a lot of the look of a blade putter, but a little bit larger size, a little bit easier mm -hmm. to hit, a little bit easier from a standpoint of the moment of inertia is going to help you on a miss hit. So um, that's, a, that's a good looking putter. And then we, then we go in to other styles like this, like this Odyssey 7. Well, people kind of look at it and go, hey, is this really a, a considered a mallet? It is. I mean, even though there's, there's the hole in the back right there, it really is a mallet style putter. It's got high moment of inertia. And to explain that, moment of inertia in putters is the farther you move the weight back from the shaft, the more sure. resistant okay. it is to twist. So. That, you know, that MOI number gets thrown yeah. out all the time. So that's really where now you kind of go to a putter like this from Ping, where they really move the weight back, very resistant to twisting, very good. If, you know, if you have trouble striking it solid with a putter, it's something to look into. Yeah, I think that's kind of what the big question is for a lot of golfers is, you know, they see all these different designs and then they wonder, well, is a mallet good for me? Is a blade good for me? And I mean, I, I know a lot of it too is just what you like to look at at a dress. Um, but also, uh, you know, it is about how often you hit the center. And if you are missing the center of the face quite a bit, you would want something with that higher MOI, right? Right. And that's why, you know, that's why it's so important to come in and get fit for a putter here to just understand what kind of, what kind of styles you should be looking at, what kind of putters you need. You know, I, I laugh, I, I taught a, uh, we had one of our putting clinics a couple weeks ago, and I said, yeah, if you ever play a guy who's got a putter that looks like this all beat up and there's a little spot right here about the size of a dime, don't play him for any money <laughs> because he knows what he's doing yeah. with his putter. But there's a guy that knows what he's doing. You come in here and as you see people walk around, whether it's the Minneapolis store or the Minnetonka store, and they really don't understand what they need. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll get fit for their driver, they'll get fit for their irons and hybrid, but then they'll just go and go, oh, this one feels pretty good. That's not enough. You need yeah. to understand what your, what's going to happen in your putting stroke, why you're not putting well, why you're missing putts, especially mm -hmm. short putts. Short putts are really about not hitting the ball solid, not hitting the ball with uh, low side spin so you really need to come in and, and mm -hmm. talk to one talk to one of our guys and really understand hey let's talk about the misses let's understand it and lastly i know there's maybe some performance differences between the two um, are people going to notice a different feel between a blade and mallet or maybe a difference in terms of like distance control 
or is it largely about just making contact in the center and then maybe added forgiveness and mallet may provide? Well, I mean, the best way to explain it is, you know, it's kind of like this is, this is our blade iron, mm -hmm. okay? This is like okay. a true blade where the center, the center point to hit this, if you miss it a little bit left or right, you're going to get a lot of twisting. Right. Okay. Then we kind of advance to, to the answer style where it's got a little bit more forgiveness, where you can move and you can hit it in a little bit of different places and still get solid feel. But then when you go to something like this right here, where, hey, the weight's way back, you're not gonna feel those misses it as much. Mm -hmm. So if you're struggling with your putting, it, it's a good thing to do. And it doesn't, and it really doesn't go by handicap, where a lot of people think, well, boy, a low handicapper right. should play the blade, a high, it doesn't matter. It's about the ability to make putts. Um, you're, it's a scorecard, it's not a postcard. There's no <laughs> pictures. All you're trying to do is trying to make sure that you get the ball in the hole as fast as you can. And you know what? You might play a blade set of irons, but you might need this putter. Right. Okay? That's why you get fit. Absolutely. Well, Larry, thanks. Uh, this was great for our golfers here to learn all about the differences between blades and mallets. Golfers out there, if uh, you feel like you might need some pointers on your putting game, I'd stop into a second swing store and talk with someone like Larry who can help you out.